Viewer discretion is advised. Boom, perfect timing. Why are y'all trying to open my door? Because we, there's a gun right by your leg. Get out of the car, please. Why? Because there's a gun by your leg. I it's supposed to be right there. Okay. I need you to step out of the car, please. Why? I gave you my ID and everything. Okay. Well, you need to step out of the car, sir. Why? I'm supposed to have a gun. Huh? I'm supposed to have a gun. You are? Yeah. Oh, how come you didn't tell me about it when I walked up to the car? You didn't ask me. Oh. It's my job to ask you. That's illegal, sir. While driving his vehicle, Roy Williams came to a stop at a four-way intersection. Coincidentally, a police cruiser from the Richmond, Virginia Police Department also halted on the opposite side of the intersection. As Mr. Williams and the police officer made eye contact while passing each other, the officer swiftly executed a U-turn and began following Mr. Williams until eventually pulling him over. I was coming down the street, approaching the stop sign. From the opposite direction was a trooper coming down the street, approaching the stop sign. We both met at our stop sign simultaneously. He looked at me, I looked at him. I kept straight, he kept straight. He busted the U-turn, got behind me. His reason was for pulling me was for a bug being out. But guess what? You didn't notice a bug was out until you bust the U-turn and got behind me. Not the whole actual like- Just one bulb. Just one- Oh, I see. Oh, in the light, I just see, I one bull. So I said, <laughs> with all due respect, sir, you wanted to pull me anyway. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't even know it was defective if you didn't bust a U-turn to get behind me. What's the reason you pull him? You got a third place like that? Oh, for real? Yes, sir. How you know that one when you bust the U-turn? Uh huh? How you knew that when you bust the U-turn in your mind? When? Uh, not mine. For real? Why you been pulling me? I'm recording you, by the way. No, uh. I would give it to you, but um, I would give it to you, but it's locked up in the glove department. And that key to that is at home. It is. Yeah. Is it your car. Yeah, you can run the tags and everything. Okay. Huh. Right. Where are you going, sir? Hmm. Where are you going? I wouldn't like to share that information. Okay. That BB gun in the back seat. What's that for? Just a BB gun. Alright. Okay, cool. You want to pull me for a bug? Go ahead. You want to write me, write me a ticket? Okay, cool. But what they wanted me to do once they saw my gun was step out of the car. But do you guys really react like this when you see other people walking around with guns on their hip or guns in their car or guns, just guns, guns, guns? Do you guys really react like this every time? Because if so, the world would be a mad, mad place. So I looked over. I noticed a hand was going through my window about this close, away from my, my knob, so that you just open the door of my handle. Why are y'all trying to open my door? Because we, there's a gun right by your leg. Get out of the car, please. Why? Because there's a gun by your leg. I, it's supposed to be right there. Okay, I need you to step out of the car, please. Why? I gave you my ID and everything. Okay, well, you need to step out of the car, sir. Why? I'm supposed to have a gun. Huh? I'm supposed to have a gun. You are? Yeah. Oh, how come you didn't tell me about it when I walked up to the car? You didn't ask me. Oh, it's my job to ask you. That's illegal, sir. Sir, that's illegal. Sir, I'm asking you to step out of the car. I'm not under arrest. You run my tags and everything. You can see everything good with me. That's illegal what you're doing, sir.
and it's bringing tears to my eyes, man, because I was literally an inch away from probably being killed. And I said, sir, what are you doing? And I hurry up and reach and started rolling my window up. And he hurried up and snatched his hand back. I said, that's illegal. So once I did that, they called their, I told them to call their supervisor. They called their supervisor to the scene. I said, hey, man, I don't like this. Like, your people just basically tried to assassinate me. Think about it. If they open that door successfully, what happens next? My, my gun is tucked in between my seat very nicely. They just would have been like, he's reaching for, a, I'm right here perfectly beside my gun. And if it's just for a bulb, like they say, then write me the ticket and let's get on with our lives. Let's get on with right. the night. Because what you can't do is prolong a traffic stop. Right. You cannot prolong a traffic stop. Now, if your traffic stop is for what it's about, then you proceed with for what it's about. And you proceed with caution. You make sure you get information on a person. I'm not a police officer, but I know, I know the simpleness of the Constitution. You just don't go treating people like they're automatically a felon. You know what I'm saying? You got to treat people with dignity, dignity until you find out otherwise, and then you handle them as such. It's up to, it's up to the officer, for officer safety. If they ask you to step out the vehicle, he can ask you to step out the vehicle, okay? Now, if you want to look at, you want to call the attorney general, like I said, if the attorney general tells you something different than I'm telling you, you can call me and tell me this is what the attorney general said, and I'll call that attorney general, ask for clarification on it. And if you're right, like I said, I'll call you. You leave a number, I'll call you back, and bam, right? Nah, we ain't gonna do nothing. No, we ain't gonna that, do that's no. That's how we all get educated. We ain't gonna do no type of communication after this is over. We, 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 we probably ain't gonna never see me again. Right, you, never, if, you never know. You, never and know. you got the same last name as me, so it'll so probably you, be you some camp. You never know. it probably be some camp. Might, might see you at the family reunion. Hey. But you never know, right? But then like, you can sit down and have a hot dog, hamburger, and a beer, and you can tell me, man, you was dead wrong. Right? Gun always in the same exact spot. All it never right. moves. Well, let's, gonna, let's see what they're gonna do. It never moves. Same exact spot. See the Glock? Same exact spot. All day, every day. They hate me. Got to record. Sir! Sir, back up off my car. You're a little too close to me, sir. 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 Can you back up a little bit? I'm nervous, sir. Could you back up a little bit? You're making me nervous. You got the whole task force on me. Got me again. Let's see what ticket I walk away with. Brake light was out. You bust the U turn and got behind me. I, I, I tell you, I, the sun kind of went down. By the way, they had dogs and all that other stuff that they ran around my car. And I told them, hey, that's illegal. You know what I'm saying? You can't pull me for a bub and go bring out canine units and all that stuff to hit on drugs on my car. You know what I'm saying? They wanted every last reason to get me out of that car. They wanted the dog to hit on something and say, oh, now we really got to get him out the car. And if we got to shoot him, we got to shoot him because he got a gun in there with him and it's just going to go down. But thank God the dog didn't hit on the marijuana stem or a marijuana seed because I would have probably lost my life if, if he did. Oh, now they got the dogs. Look at the doggy. Look at the doggy. That's illegal also. Can't do that. Can't bring a dog out. <sighs> What's wrong with these people? Look. Yeah, I don't. I don't contend to that. I'm allergic to dogs. 
I don't I don't content to that, man. It's, that's not a word. I'm aller I'm I'm allergic to dog. I don't consent to that. And we always get treated like a criminal. I said consent, not content. Consent. Bring the puppy back over here. No? The dog ain't smell it. Don't hit us, that's all. Hey, you're all good. You're good, girl. That dog ain't smell it. Lord. That's some good shit. Some good shit when the dog don't smell that shit. <sighs> like I said, you wanted me to step out the car? No. What? Because I got a clock? That's not cool. Two extra clips right there. Ready for war. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to issue a summons for the defective equipment, and that's going to be it. Be out of here. Okay? A summons for that? Defective, defective equipment. You got to have you said, three working. Huh? You said my, how many brake lights up? If you got three, you got to have three working. I got? Not the one in the middle. Oh, it's, it's off completely? Really? Step on them. Step on them. One of your bulbs is out in your third brake light. That's really you ready to issue me a summons for a bulb? Yes, sir. Really? Defective equipment. Yes, sir. I can go to I can go to the store and buy that bulb. Okay. You gonna issue the summons? A bulb. Sign, sign it. I'm a, I, I'm not gonna sign it, but okay. Well, as well. A bulb. You ready to write me a Listen. summons for a bulb? He gonna, he you didn't say it. all of them was out. You said a bulb. Listen. He's gonna issue the summons for that. Okay. Alright? You gonna issue the summons for that, alright? Okay. For a bug? For a bug. Right. Defective, defective equipment. That's gonna be it. Ain't that gonna get thrown out if I go to court and, I mean, and show them that? If you fix it, it's up to the judge at that You point. really wanna go through all this? If you fix it. You really wanna go through all this, yeah, really? He's gonna, he's gonna go. I'm gonna go. Cause as soon as I leave him, I'm gonna go fix it. That, okay. That, that's what you gotta do. So that's right. what I'm saying. You, you wanna go to court for all that? You gonna uh, waste the taxpayers' money? To you, okay, sir? Here's your information back. Make sure that everything you gave me is here. Is it all there? Sir? You need to appear in the city of Richmond. There's still so much more to share about Roy Williams' story. And unfortunately, things get even worse from here. I genuinely wish I could provide more support to Roy. I've provided a link to his GoFundMe in the description below. If you have the means, I kindly ask you to consider donating to Roy Leeshawn Williams' GoFundMe campaign. His story serves as a cautionary tale, underscoring the urgent need for police reform in our country. The corruption within many police departments starts at the highest levels. We strongly believe in holding everyone accountable. You go to my Facebook, bro, and you okay. scroll down the timeline. You can see me post these. Like, it's probably gonna take a while or whatever the case may be. But Facebook is a big timeline, right? So you're gonna see them happening, like, like the one I showed you with the pulling my arm out the socket. That was 2014. The one when I was eating the oatmeal. That was 2015. The one when I lifted my shirt and showed that they forgot the gun. That was 2016. So these are years uh, occurring from each other that they know who I am.